My name is Dennis Stoll, this Metro is your class of 2002. It's great to be with you today for a few minutes talking about the theology of the Eucharist. I'm at my home parish right now, Sacred Heart in Florissant. And Eucharist is Greek for Thanksgiving. And next week we'll all be celebrating Thanksgiving with our friends and families here in the United States. So I hope you all have a, a beautiful Thanksgiving. I was thinking about this talk and I wanted to go all intellectual. There's been so many great books, so many talks about this very topic. So many great minds, far smarter than I'll ever be, have spent a lot of time unpacking the, the theology of the Eucharist. But I want to go to one line from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. It's from paragraph 1415, and it says, Under the consecrated species of bread and wine, Christ himself, living and glorious, is present in a true, real, and substantial manner. Do you believe that? Do you believe that when you receive the Eucharist, that it's really Jesus Christ? Not just some symbol, not just some ritual that we do, but an incredible sacrament that embodies Jesus Christ, body and blood, soul and and divinity. If you haven't spent some time with the sixth chapter of St. John's Gospel, it's called the Bread of Life Discourse. Definitely want to challenge you to take five or ten minutes and read that chapter. Because in it, Jesus talks about how he is the bread of life and that whoever eats his flesh and drinks his blood will have eternal life. But what's interesting, everybody, is at the end of that chapter, a lot of his disciples walked away. They couldn't handle it. They couldn't stomach it. It was too tough of a teaching. You know, today as Catholics, we take so many things for granted. We live in a very comfortable and convenient culture. There's so many things vying for our attention. And the question I want to ask you is, are you willing to take another look at the Eucharist? Are you willing to take another look at your prayer life? I'm a big fan of sports, and there's nothing worse, in my opinion, than an a, a athlete who has no passion, a very passive athlete. I want to challenge you today. Make a commitment to the Eucharist. Make a commitment to thinking about what you're really doing at Mass. Maybe you've been away from church for a while, and that's okay. Come back. Maybe you've been going to church faithfully, but you find yourself struggling each time because it just seems so boring or that you're just going through the motions. Take another look at the Eucharist. So read John's Gospel, chapter 6. Commit to some prayer time every day. Maybe if you're passing by a church or an adoration chapel, pop in for a few minutes. I've never left a chapel or a church where I've just been praying for a few minutes. I've never left there not feeling more peaceful than when I walked in. So it's been great being with you today. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care and God bless y'all. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your love. The perfect sacrifice. Praise to God above, thank you.